Hi and welcome to a new video. One of the core features of Snapchat is their Snap Map, which allows you to share real-time location with your friends. But what if you want to change your location on Snapchat so that other people think you are anywhere else? In this video, I'll show you the easiest way to change your current location on an iPhone without resorting to jailbreak. Let's go. Unfortunately, on normal iPhones that don't have a jailbreak, you can't just install an app to change your location. This is because the apps you have downloaded from App Store don't have that capacity. Aside from that, I don't recommend making a jailbreak if you're just testing it out. In worst case scenario, it may just cause harm to your device. Without a jailbreak, you will need to use a computer and install a program in order to change your location. There are several programs that you can use. I personally like iMyPhone's NE2 and Tenorshare's iNeGo, which works both on Windows and Mac. If you want to know more about each program, you can check out the links in the description below. In this video, I'll go more into detail how iMyPhone's NE2 works, but the application from Tenorshare functions mostly in the same way as well. With iMyPhone NE2, you can spoof a location and your location-based apps like Google Maps, Snapchat, or WhatsApp will inherit the fake location. You can try it with restricted access for free, or you can purchase a plan to have unlimited use of the features. Choose your plan by clicking on the tag at the top right corner or check out the link in the description below. Now, let's start setting up your iMyPhone NE2. First, choose your operating system, then download and install it on your computer. Afterwards, launch the program and click Get Started. Next, connect your iPhone using an original or an MFI certified cable to ensure that there will be no problem with the transfer of data. If this is your first time connecting to the program, you have to confirm that you trust this computer when prompted on your iPhone and provide your passcode when required. The next time you connect to iMyPhone NE2, you can directly choose your device just like in my case here. You can either choose to connect via Wi-Fi or cable. I will choose cable connection because it is much stable and reliable. Once a connection is established, your iMyPhone NE2's dashboard should load the map. On the top right corner, you will see four different modes on which you can use to change location. These are the joystick mode, two-spot mode, multi-spot mode, and teleport mode. With the joystick mode, you can go along the map using your keyboard keys. The two-spot mode customizes routes between two locations, wherein the multi-spot mode allows route customization for up to 100 spots. Let's try the teleport mode first. On this mode, it will allow you to jump to a location of your choosing. To teleport to a different location, you can either pin directly from the map by clicking on it, or you can use the search bar. I will look up for Athens in Greece. Click on Move in the sidebar panel. Confirm it once again and now you will see that my location has been changed from Los Angeles to Athens, Greece. Now open the Snapchat app and tap on the map. As you can see, Snapchat now thinks that I'm in Greece. Please note that the Move button will only be available for an unlimited number if you have the paid version. If you're a trial user, you can teleport to a location for five times only. As I have mentioned earlier, my favorite providers for location spoofing are iMyPhone and Tenorshare. They offer similar functionalities, so, you can just check out each of their offered plans and see what works best for you. The plans are quite expensive, but I haven't found a better alternative yet. Aside from teleporting from one place to another, you can also plan a specific route to set up a movement. To do this, click on the Two Spot mode. Then, search for a specific destination. In my case, Istanbul. On the sidebar panel, you can vary the number of times you want to go forth and back or control the pace by dragging the speed bar. By checking realistic mode below the speed bar, your speed will vary for every 5 seconds, thus making your movement seem natural and not overly automated. After setting up your route, click Move to start the simulation of your movement. Then, you'll see that my Bitmoji is also moving according to the planned route on SnapMap. 
If you want, you can also choose to pause your movement, resume, or stop it altogether on the sidebar panel. You can also add more than one device to iMyPhone. On the lower right corner, select the phone icon. Click on Add, then plug in another device. If you want to apply a location change to only one device, you can disable the toggle beside each device name. If you want to revert to your original location, click on the Reset button just below the Phone icon. Now on SnapMap, you will see that my location is reverted to my original location as well. Please note that resetting your location on iMyPhone might not automatically revert changes in every application on your iPhone. So, to ensure that your iPhone's location will revert to its original position, you will have to restart your device. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!